fast and really bumpy and it was just chatter in the back end so it, the tyre was like spinning all the bumps and ripping itself up so that was it come the last three or four laps you just well from halfway through the race you've no traction left so you can't go any faster or you fall off so the thing is to try and just keep up the pace. I'm a pretty aggressive rider and uh, I was uh, maybe offended and insulted a lot of people trying to win in years gone by you know and uh, because that's just in my nature to try hard to win races you upset people you know and people don't forget things when you do something wrong you know if you chop someone up on the road on the way to work they don't forget it you know and so it takes a lot of um, a lot of persuading and a lot of work to get over one or two things that happened in the past how much do you feel you've matured since those wild early days? Well, I think it's like everything with experience, all riders, um, even probably our own famous Joey was pretty erratic in his younger day. And uh, just this last, you learn as you get older, and it's just, it is true, like, you know, if I could think like this years ago, I could have, like, went fast, faster and safer, quicker. But, uh, you just learn the time to conserve energy and the time to use it and just just getting a whole lot into perspective. What's the problem, Philip? Aye, they wouldn't let me start the warm up lap because it was late, right? Your fuel pipe trapped, that's what happened. Now they say I've got to start from pit lane. out of shape and seemingly be able to keep it like that and get it back in uh, while the bike is bucking and weaving and, and the road is anything but smooth. Um, he doesn't seem to bother him. It bothers those around him perhaps sometimes and maybe that's the problem. Uh, he seems to have this great ability to be able to keep the head down and keep going. He's all arms, uh, if you've noticed his ra racing style, he's hunched over and um, the eyes have it. Uh, he's a very determined man. But the results show for themselves. I mean, you cannot win five races at the Northwest and have so many successes at the TT uh, and put it all down to luck. Philip, uh, rather surprisingly, perhaps strangely, for a, a motorcyclist, a racing rider, I believe you've an interest in, in poetry. I mean, where does that come from? Well, it sort of comes from a boss I used to work with for 10 years, you know, and uh, sort of. I think I baffled him a bit sometimes, and uh, 
So he, he used to quote this poem to me, so I had to learn it in the end to get him back. And it was a, it was a poem by Oliver Goldsmith, and the title was The Village Schoolmaster. And this is it's a very long poem, but there's only a small section from it. It's, uh, it goes, uh, With words of learned length and thundering sound, amazed the gazing rustics gathered round, and still they gazed, and still the wonder grew, how that small head could carry all he knew.